prove yourself at the Bern the Bay or wherever it is. The best leagues in the world are the Premier League and La Liga. Who's getting excited by that? Tell me, apart from the PSG supporters, who's getting ex is Kylian Mbappe getting excited by that? No, I um, I was uh, I knew it was going to take some time, and I know his situation because um, I I played with his stepbrother um, when I was at Rennes, and I remember like uh, a couple of years ago we wanted to make a documentary, and I I called the stepbrother to speak to Mbappe, and he said to me, "Let me deal with the parents first. So he had a conversation, and his parents are overseeing a lot of things. So in this deal making, I when this time was taking so long, I already knew what he, what they were doing. Like they were waiting to see what is the best deal and what is the best situation for him. Eventually, he made that choice to stay in the country. Look, if France wants to build their competition into a level that people are, like Craig said, more start, start resonating on a different level, they have to keep their star player. How they did that, that is not, you know, like if they, they gave him too much money or whatever it is. But one thing they, they made sure, if we want to compete with the big boys, we have to make sure we keep one and then start building from that. And that, it could be for me the only answer why they went so far to keep him there. And that's for me the only reason that I think that, I mean, if you, <laughs> I've not heard a lot of football players that got a, call, a phone call from the president. I don't know about you then, but I, I don't know a lot <laughs> that got that moment. So he got it. So uh, Shaka, what do you answer. make of it all? It's the first time you've been on. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, a, a lot of it is, is, is well, I've, I've, I'm not going to comment on the money. Nothing about the money in today's football makes an awful lot of sense to me. Um, on, on one hand, though, I'm sympathetic in that Mbappe is, is Parisian and wants to stay in Paris. I was at Newcastle when Alan Shearer turned down Manchester United to join, to join Newcastle United. He, he's a Geordie and he wanted to come back to his, his hometown club. And, and despite the criticism that he got then, I, I understood his thinking. And, and I kind of feel it's, it's the same for, for Mbappe here wanting to stay in Paris. The thing that confuses me, though, is... He, he keeps, the, the, everybody's throwing out this sporting project. He had, Kylian Mbappe admits that he wanted to leave last year, but the sporting project has, has kept him for another three years. How has the sporting project changed in the last 12 months? Surely PSG 12 months ago had every intention of winning all the, all, all the French, French titles and wanted to win the Champions League. That's what they, they were building for. I, I, I really want to know what has changed to the extent that now he realizes PSG is, is, is the place to be. I, I don't understand, and until I have a clearer picture of that, you just have to fall back on, well, PSG paid more money and therefore it's all about the money. There's been a lot of speculation, isn't it, as well as the money, as the role that Kylian Mbappe has been promised within the club when it comes to decision making. He addressed that as well. He said, I'm not going to go beyond my role as a player. It would be starting the project off on the wrong foot if the flagship player puts pressure on the director of sport. Everyone must stay in their lane. But if he wants to speak, I can talk about football for hours with you or with anyone else, but I won't influence sales and recruitment. It's not my job. Al Khalifi said the sports project was the most important point for Mbappe. I promise that we sign with Mbappe. We sign with new players too. So that kind of goes against the little jewels of what we've been hearing in the sense that Kylian Mbappe will be a, like a key member of the decision-making process going forward? I don't think so. I think he said what he had to say. And by the way, that was a masterclass of a, of a press conference. He, I mean, he's, he's only 23, he's so intelligent. He, he knows everything that's come in, the questions. The, if you want to trick him, you can't trick yeah. him. I mean, he's incredible, yeah, really, he's on and off the field. But, but he, he was always going to say this anyway. We know, yeah. and we were told, that he didn't want to work with Leonardo. Leonardo got sacked literally a few hours after the new contract was signed. He wanted Luis Campos as a sporting director. Guess what? Luis Campos is coming. And this is, will be what it is. Of course, he's not the one who's going to pick up the phone and say, hey, why don't you come to my club? But he will be a big part in the discussions and in the, in the, in the decisions that they will make 
And again, I think plenty of top, top players, world-class players have had that kind of role before. It's not written in this contract. It's not black and white on paper. But I think often, I'm sure the boys have played in teams where you ask the big players or you ask the captain, OK, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? And I don't think this is much, much different. Just to go back on what Shaka said, a lot of things have changed, have changed already. And I mentioned Leonardo. I think the, the coach, the manager could be, could be next. And also the direction the team is taking, the club is taking in terms of recruitment and the face of the team in the sense they want younger players, they want maybe more French players. They don't want the bling bling names anymore. That's why I think Neymar, mm -hmm. they're certainly going to try to find, a, to find a, an exit for Neymar, which is very different to the PSG that we've seen you know, from the last five years especially, about where it was a lot about the marketing and the bling bling, bling side of things. Are we making too much of a big deal of this, of Kylian Mbappe having a say as to who comes in, who doesn't? I don't know of any player that's ever had a say about who comes and who goes. When I've played with some big players, uh, yeah, might have, might, they might be asked about thoughts on one or two things, but the final decision generally always comes down to the finances in the club. This Mbappe thing, you know, on a scale of one to a hundred. Um, I think I know where I'm going. You're going with this. Yeah. But I tell you, but it's, seriously, I go back to you. But I go, I go back. That's my point. That's my whole point. Is in a football parlance, to me, this is not a good decision. Almost every big French player, maybe there's the odd anomaly. Oh, and I said this a few days. Almost every big French player has gone out and played for the biggest and the best in the best leagues. And they've gone out there and they've carried, you know, the expectations of being one of their nation's great players and taking it to another country. And a lot of them, a lot of them have succeeded. And there's been a lot of them. There's been a hell of a lot of them. Not just Platini and Zidane and all the others. I'm not going to say Le Bouffe. Uh, <laughs> there's been a lot of these players. But that's a disappointment for me. Is that, is he, I think it's easy for him in France. Right. I think it's too easy for him in France. The stats this year will back it up. He's, he's, he's flat trap bullying a lot of these players. Yes, I get it. The Champions League, I get it. The best leagues in the world are the Premier League and La Liga, Italy, Bundesliga, and then France comes after that. And here we have the best player, arguably, in the world at the moment, arguably, quite happy to take uh, a pot full of gold just to sit there and smash the smithereens these teams week in, week out. Who's getting excited by that? Tell me, apart from the PSG supporters, who's getting ex is Kylian Mbappe getting excited by that? Is that getting the juices flowing, going out there, winning league on? Is it? If that's what his, he's happy with, hey, fair play. I thought he might have a bit more about him. Get out there, prove yourself at the Bernabe or wherever it is. Take the bull by the horns. Show Benzema that... Benzema's not the top man, even though he's playing the best football of his career. Go in there and really take it by the scruff of the neck. No, I'll just take the pot of gold here and I'll sit here and I'll win the French league and I'll talk about projects. Fair enough, fair enough. That's what he wants. I have no interest whether PSG win league on or not. It is very unimportant in the big scheme of things. I think he's bottled it at the moment at 23 years old to make that big move. He's in his comfort zone, let him be.